Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, I want to share my experience with the Built Hamber Auto Wheel Non Acid Wheel Cleaner and also the Carlsol Ferris Metal Remover, uh, both on their own and as a team. I like to use them as a team. I'll demonstrate that today on this Audi RS5. The wheels, well, they're not in bad shape. The face of the wheel is in great shape, so are the calipers, but the barrel of the wheel need to be refinished. Both of these containers are 33 ounces and you can find them uh, for anywhere between $27 and $30. The price is a little bit higher, but remember you're getting more volume. So if they work even half decent, that would be a good buy. Let me show you Auto Wheel Non-Acid Wheel Cleaner first on its own and using no contact whatsoever. So that spray, let it do its work and then rinse without agitation. And then on the back wheel, I'll show you the Carosol first, teamed up with the auto wheel cleaner, uh, layering that on second after a thorough rinse and then agitating. And we'll see just how much the uh, first step removes without even touching the wheel and causing marring because uh, brake dust and rail dust is one of the most abrasive materials to come in contact with either your wheel or the side of your vehicle. You can see here it immediately turns red. That is the exothermal reaction which changes the composition and the shape of the ferrous metal piece. That way you can either rinse it free or agitate it or if it's on the side of your vehicle use a clay bar to pick it up and remove it from the surface. You can see that river of red, that's a byproduct of the reaction, and that is without doing any manual labor whatsoever. I will dry the wheel, but let's just quick come in and take a look. The face of the wheel and the caliper clean. The barrel as well, even though it's not finished correctly. Not bad at all for not making contact whatsoever with the wheel and that will save it from love marks and abrasion. From here you simply respray it with the auto wheel cleaner, agitate and rinse and that will get the wheel perfectly clean and scrub behind the spokes and then the barrel of the wheel. What I like to do is first grab the carousel which we'll do on the back here. That's the ferrous metal remover and I'll use that first. Let it dwell, rinse without agitating. Then I'll grab the wheel cleaner, spray that on, do my agitation and uh, get the wheel perfectly clean. Both of these products are powerful cleaners, powerful water-based cleaners that are biodegradable. However, safe on all wheel surfaces. Immediately, the color of the ferrous metal turning crimson and running off the face of the wheel, doing its job immediately. And once again, without any manual labor at all, you can see all the nastiness that has been removed from the wheel and running free as we rinse.
Step number two, I will grab the auto wheel, non-acid wheel cleaner, and I'll put a nice uh, liberal layer on the surface of the wheel, the barrel of the wheel, the caliper, wherever I can reach, and I'll let that dwell for a few minutes. And we'll do the agitation with a soft wheel brush or detailing brush, and we'll rinse it free. And I believe you can see from here, uh, you'll notice that the cleaner isn't turning that crimson red. It is in areas where we're agitating in the back of the spokes and the barrel of the wheel. But for the most part, uh, the, the first step, uh, rid ourselves of that ferrous metal really well, uh, very impressive. Even on the calipers here, agitation, it's not turning a crimson red. We got most of it uh, throughout the first step. After all the agitation there, you can see a little bit of the red from the reaction mixing in, but for the most part, it's clean. And simply repeat that process all the way around with all four wheels. Both products working as a team, very effective. On their own, individually, effective as well. You got a lot of it at 33 ounces, decent price. I get my built hammer products from Carzilla. I will put a link down below in the description box. If you have a question at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.